Well, this is going to be, so don't worry about okay. it. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I will welcome everybody informally here. Um, due to uh, unforeseen circumstances today, one of our honorees has to get in and get out because there is uh, some business at hand citywide here. She's one of those women that really doesn't need a formal introduction, but I'm going to give it anyway because it's what I've been instructed to do. But uh, she is a pivotal, pivotal piece of uh, local government here in New York City. Letitia James is our public advocate. For those of you who do not know, she serves as the direct link between New Yorkers and their government, serves as a watchdog for the city agencies and investigates complaints about city services. She made history back in 2014 by becoming the first woman of color to hold a citywide office here in New York City. There's not anything that's been done that you think is great legislation in the city that she has not had her hand on. Everything from leading the push to police wearing body cameras here in New York City, which is obviously something that continues to happen. She was the first to call for a special prosecutor to be used in all cases of police misconduct. We know that's been in the headlines as of late. And she's also an advocate for children in foster care and for those kids with disabilities. Like I said, it is a great honor for us to have her here tonight. Although briefly, like I said, there was work to be done here citywide today. Put your hands together, please. A nice round of applause for Ms. Letitia James. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is for you. I'll just say a really brief uh, few words before uh, about Tish. You know, I had the opportunity to see Tish for years and also to go on a, a delegation with her to Israel this year. And the one thing that I do like and, and actually love about Tish is Tish's ability to have her advocacy be bold, to have it to be big, to have it to be out there that's well recognized and well respected because she genuinely means that she wants to help people become better. So it's definitely on behalf of the board of directors, myself, the consumers and staff, we like to honor you with the People Who Thrive Award. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Charles. Let us um, keep in our prayers this evening, Officer Holder and his family. And let us hold in our hearts and in our minds the family of NYPD, which is mourning in the entire city of New York. I apologize that I have to leave early, uh, but I've got some business to attend to as a result of that tragedy in the city. Let us pray that it'll never happen again. But tonight, I accept this award. I thank you, Charles, for all that you have done. This wonderful organization does so much great work in this city. And so it's an honor and a privilege to accept this award. And may you continue to do great work. And may you continue to thrive. Thank you. We have one more thing for you. Not that I need to give you a citation, <laughs> but you know, we got a citation from the Brooklyn Bar President, oh. and we definitely want to honor you with this as well. You know what it's done, you've given them out before, but let's uh, just uh, welcome you with this. What does it say, John? <laughs> it's a book. It says, We're as all of Whereas all of Brooklyn joins today with the Thrive Network to recognize and honor the public advocate Letitia James for the outstanding contributions she has made in our communities. Okay. Whereas, 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 whereas. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you all. Have a good evening. Thank you. Uh, enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.